This is a great Sunday, one of my favorites that we look forward to. Sanctity Human Life Sunday is when we take opportunity to have a parent-child dedication. Uh, this is not baptism, this is an opportunity for the parents to step f front of the uh, congregation that, that loves and encourages them to say that we will stand with our children and we will dedicate them to the Lord. Many of you are here today visiting Emmanuel. We're thankful that you've come, parents, grandparents, friends, and so on. So we're thankful that you've come to witness this. I want to thank publicly uh, J.D. and Carrie Tolliver for leading the class to put all this together and giving of their time. And of course, Diana Warden, our Director of Children's Ministry. The Redskins have Kirk Cousins, we have Diana Warden. <laughs> and we got the better deal. <clears throat> So I'm going to ask these uh, mom and dads here some, some questions about uh, what will they will and will not do. And I'm going to ask you some questions that we're going to partner with one another. Uh, God says, be fruitful and multiply, and we have obeyed him well. And so I'm going to ask to those that are standing here with your children, I'll ask you, acknowledging that children are a gift from God, will you commit to raise your child to love the Lord with all their heart, soul, mind, and strength? If so, please say we will. And will you be an example in your words and actions honoring Christ in your own life and acknowledging him as the head of your home? And will you pray with your child and for your child regularly? And will you diligently teach them the truths of God's word, guiding them to understand salvation through faith in Jesus Christ alone? And for you, the congregation who will support and encourage them by way of a spirit of accountability as well, we support these parents as they raise their children through loving encouragement and prayer. We will. <laughs> and will you seek to be a godly example to these children, modeling the love of Jesus Christ and demonstrating a commitment to God's standards? Let's go to Lord in prayer and pray for them as they take on this incredible task of bringing these children to the Lord, to understanding the Lord. Will you join me in prayer? Father, we thank you for each one that's standing before us here. Uh, we acknowledge that children are indeed a gift from you. And you have gifted these couples and these families and this church with so many young lives. We thank you for that, Lord. But the task is great that is before us. And so we pray for these families that stand behind me. We pray for every one of them as they have a desire by their example, by their own understanding of who you are, to teach that to the children so that they too may have an opportunity to accept you as Lord and Savior. And Father, we pray for us as a congregation that we will walk with them in this journey, that we will help the burden of this task be light for them, and that we will continue to encourage them by way of prayer and accountability and teaching. Lord, we thank you for the way you have blessed this church, and we thank you for the work that you're doing in the, the growth of the children through children's ministry, and we thank you, Father, uh, for the way you are just continue to bless. We honor you today through our commitment to you and a commitment to your word and your example. And we praise you for it in Christ's name. And everybody said, amen. amen.